Now, we're barely two years on since that Jeopardy match, and yet so much has happened in the evolution of that system. Can you talk for a minute before we get to questions from the audience sure. about the vision for Watson as it stands now and how it's being deployed against that vision? Yes. <clears throat> so we, 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 uh, we decided actually before we won the, the, the tournament that uh, it was going to be just as the Deep Blue Chess Championship was won. We, just, we were going to do that. Win or lose, we were going to move on to doing important things with the system. And uh, as we thought about what to do, uh, we, we, we narrowed down to two or three different industries that we wanted to put Watson into where we felt we could make a difference. And, you know, again, sort of being Grand Challenge guys, you know, Coco Genome, whatever, we said, okay, you know, where is there big data, where is there noisy data, and where can we have the largest impact on society and also obviously on the IBM company? And so we said healthcare. And we said, okay, where are the biggest problems in healthcare? Some of the biggest problems are in cancer. And so we decided to go after that field with Watson. And Watson has spent fundamentally the last two years working with the top uh, oncologists and medical institutions in the United States in doing uh, cancer research and developing cancer protocols and assisting doctors and nurses uh, in diagnosis. But Fundamentally, we have not been reprogramming Watson for the past two years. Watson has been learning all of the world's knowledge, written knowledge, about cancer, cancer research. And Watson has been studying and analyzing all of the records in places like Memorial Sloan Kettering, MD Anderson Cleveland Clinic, and basically learning what's right and what's wrong, and actually learning the language or the dialect of medicine. Hmm. And so Watson is now being deployed in some big insurance companies like WellPoint. And Watson is in literally in medical school at Cleveland Clinic. And Watson is working with a couple of dozen of the top, the world's top oncologists at Memorial Sloan Kettering. And how is, how is the field responding to this? Uh, outstanding. Uh, it, it's very, it's very interesting. We we thought at first, you know, that it, I shouldn't be picking on medical doctors, but uh, you know, medical doctors, rightfully so, have been reluctant to adopt information technology in the past. What we experienced with Watson was it was such a leap forward, and it it, it ripped them so far out of their comfort zone. It wasn't just a new pad or something they had to enter medical records in. They saw it as a way of advancing their own capability and deploying their knowledge. And so the reaction we got around Watson was just incredible, incredible. We were lucky enough to be able to choose which institutions we were going to work with. And when you talk with these doctors, um, you know, the hair on my neck stands up when they talk about what Watson's going to do. 